Hi, this is Emily of Beauties and Headcanons. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Sam Kirby, host of Cinema Stories here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you're done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Cinema Stories, where we hang out and just talk movie and TV news and reviews, and it's awesome. A new show comes out every single Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Cinema Stories. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Public House Media, and thanks for joining me live here on this video. I appreciate all of you for jumping on. And those of you listening to the podcast, I just want to say hello and welcome. And thank you so much for listening here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for telling your friends, um, doing all of that in advance, and assuming that you've done so already. I want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And because it's Thanksgiving, right? It's a time to be grateful. It's a time to have gratitude. And today, that's what we're going to exactly talk about. Gratitude is a choice. And we get to choose happy. We get to choose to rise. We get to choose gratitude every single day because it's a choice that we make. And if you want to find happiness, find more gratitude. That's what Steve Marboli says. And the, the difference between a life of gratitude and a life without it is a lot bit is a huge difference, okay? If people who have gratitude have less anxiety, they're depressed le- off, less often, they have more self-acceptance, they have more energy, they have for- increased forgiveness, it's easier to give when you have gratitude and you are able to breathe easier when you have gratitude, you have more happiness in your life when you have more gratitude, and it's just a simple way of elevating yourself and elevating your life into um, just a positive state. When you can elevate yourself, you're just going to have more experiences that are, are joyful. What you attract, you uh, what you attract is what you get. So what you focus on is what you <laughs> is what you receive. I'm just overjoyed today to be coming to you, and I'm talking so fast. Uh, but the three things that you need to know about gratitude: one, it's a choice. It is always a choice to be grateful. Anything can happen in this life, and you can choose to be grateful for the situation, or you can choose to not. And I challenge you today to choose gratitude. We can choose to be grateful for everything that happens to us. Yesterday we and the, over this week, we've talked about being grateful for the challenges in your life. You know, every event in your life is neutral, but how we bring emotion to it is how we handle it, how we deal with it. And so if something crappy happens to you, find the silver lining. Choose to be grateful for the situations that have happened in your life. I have had a roller coaster week of trying really hard to hit a really big goal with my team. And it has been, there's been a lot of struggles this last week because every time it's just natural for the negative things, the negative vibes of this world to try to bring us down. We live in a society of the crab mentality where when someone tries to climb out, the rest of them pull them back. So there's just always the devil's always working against you and you just have to choose faith. You have to choose joy and you have to choose gratitude for the things that are in your life. And that's how you beat that stuff. That's how you get over those things. Gratitude is also a practice. It's something that you have to train your mind to do. It's something you have to train your body and your thoughts to to get over it, to um, train your mind to see the good in every situation. Find that silver lining because there is joy in everything, whether it's a death in the family, whether it's a loss of a job, whether it's a, an argument with a family member, whether it's something that's a, a skeleton from your past, there's always a silver lining to it. There's always a joyful moment. And if you can hold on to that joyful part or or celebrate the success of or the character that's been built or the positive things that have come out of that situation, because everything happens for a reason in this life. There is a purpose for every action, for every fall, for every rise, for everything that comes into your your way. And if you can choose gratitude and then practice gratitude, training your mind and your body and your heart to, to find the happiness and everything, you're going to go so far. The third thing you need to know about gratitude is that it's an attitude. Gratitude is an attitude. The real gift of gratitude is that more grateful you are, the more present you become. Robert Holden. And you, the more grateful for you are, the more you focus on that gratefulness, the more you focus on that gratitude attitude, you are going to have more gratitude in your life. What you focus on, you create more of. So how do you get more gratitude in your life? How do you create that? How do you move forward now that you know what it is and why it's important? Well, one, you can start a gratitude journal. How many times have you heard me say that? The 
this week, right? Because it works. Second thing you can do is write a thank you letter. I have thank you notes, love notes, I call them on my desk, and I am so excited to send them out this week. And write more today because there's no shortage of love that you can send to people. And you, if the more you give, the more you will get. Trust me. The fourth thing you can do is verbalize your appreciation. I have had Snapchats. I have had messages, instant messages. I have had all kinds of things coming in today showing a love and appreciation for me and my family and my team and just love coming out of the ears today. And it is just a perfect day to do that because it is Thanksgiving. We should be thankful, giving thanks for the things that are in our life today. So I highly encourage you to verbalize your appreciation today to somebody or everybody that you come across. And the number fifth thing that you can do is set an intention to be grateful in the morning. When you wake up, be thankful for something. Be thankful for what you had yesterday. Be thankful for what you're about to do today. Be thankful for the opportunities of your life. So the four things that you can say to verbalize, I am thankful for whatever. My favorite part of the day was, I feel joy when I'm grateful for whatever person or thing. And those are things that you can always do to be find gratefulness in your life, be more grateful in your life, and just share joy and love with other people. I'm so grateful for all of you for jumping on. I'm so thankful for all of you for subscribing and being a part of this public house media and for allowing for public house media to be a part of them and sharing my voice and letting um, my voice and my heart and my soul come to you and share with you all of you in this. So thank you so much for listening. I appreciate all of you and I hope that you like, share, send a friend to this page as well so that we can keep spreading this message of positivity across the world and help others rise up on of their current situation and be their absolute best self. Have a fantastic Thanksgiving day, everyone. Talk to you all later. Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Please follow Public House Media on Twitter at The PH Media and on Facebook at Public House Media to stay up to date on this podcast as well as many other things happening on the network. You can leave me feedback on my show and if you have any questions, comments, or new ideas or topics, I would love to hear them. You can also follow me on my social media account, Choose to Rise Up at Facebook and at KJP Meyer on Instagram. I hope you have a great day.